Peter, finally, talking to you after a win yeah. today. Uh, just must be a massive feeling for relief to get that off your back. Um, I'm really pleased for the players because they've worked exceptionally hard and they should have had a winning feeling before today. But they've now got it, which is good, uh, good and I think they're going to enjoy that. Uh, but we had to work exceptionally hard. I, th I thought, uh, to be fair, at Braintree, they were the better team in the first half. Uh, we, I thought, we were the better team in the second half. First half looked a little cagey. Could be expected, though, obviously, with both teams winless at the start of the match. Yeah, no, it, it was cagey, but I think we, again, looked a little bit too nervous. We started a little bit how we started against Salford, and, uh, and I think that we've got to do better than that. Uh, but the players knew what a big game it was, and uh, so maybe that's why they were a touch cagey. And I say, and I was impressed with Braintree. I think that the managers got them very organised. They're, they're not easy to break down. Second half, the boys looked to really start with kind of spring in their set. Were there a few words that you said to them at half-time just to encourage them to yeah, keep on? I, 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 yeah, I mentioned a few things, but, they, but I think they had a bit of joy at this very little start of the second half, and I think that, that gave them a bit of confidence. Obviously, the penalty as well. Uh, when it comes down to it, has the boys been? Was there any word as to who was going to take it? Is there a set order? Uh, well, to be fair, we uh, we had early doors. Cheeky Candy had a, had a chance, but and he was doing quite a lot in the pre-season because it's the first one that we've had. He was on the pitch and he grabbed it straight away, and he was very confident. So uh, it was a good penalty. And in terms of the defence too today, obviously uh, another clean sheet as well. And it's just all about obviously building confidence now, is it? The win, the clean sheets as well. It's, it's starting to come together nicely. Well, clean sheets are a nice habit, you know, it gives you a chance. Um, so, uh, so again, uh, hopefully the boys, you know, will learn from certain things we've done wrong tonight. Uh, but, we, you know, we didn't c concede. So, we, did, we, you know, we got away with certain things. Uh, so, as long as we keep working at it. And the most important thing we know is that our, all of our 11 players have to do exactly the same. If we're attacking or defending, we have to all work for each other. Two games unbeaten now as well. The team are obviously going to gain confidence from that too and hopefully continue that and make it three on Saturday at Barrow. Well, you hope so, but you know that football uh, does give you a kick up the backside if you're a little bit uh, sloppy. So we've got to make sure that we're not sloppy. We have a good journey out there and, and uh, um, make sure that we're very organised and we start working on Thursday to try and get that result. No, Alex Davidson obviously went off injured uh, Saturday. What's the, the latest on him? Um, well, it is a slight hamstring, but a very slight one. So he's still not ruled out for a, like a two or three week job. He's probably going to be struggling for Saturday, uh, but hopefully not to. And then we've got a free week after that. So hopefully after that, he'll have a good chance. Um, with regards to Ben Nunn, how's he progressing? Uh, yes, he's done a bit more work today. He's got some bruised ribs, but now that's better. Uh, he, he, he's got his knee injury, I know, but that's getting easier with the grounds getting a touch softer. We need a bit more rain. Uh, but... Uh, um, but no, Ben, ben again, hopefully we arrange another friendly next, uh, next midweek and that will give him a chance to show us what he can do.